Hello, Internet, and welcome to Arena Time here on Shoutstone. We are continuing our run through the arena alongside Trump, watching as he tries to make it to 9 and 1, or at least 9 wins, and earns the Grandmaster spot in this particular arena run. Now, I know that the big patch hit, and the game was wiped, and a lot of stuff changed, and the game is basically in its final state as far as purchases you make, cards you accumulate, things like that. Um, but this whole arena run and several other arena runs for future episodes of uh, Arena Time have already been recorded. They are already in my queue, need to be just commentated, if you will. Uh, so don't worry too much about uh, missing anything or if any episodes are not complete so in any event let's just hop right into the action here shall we let's get into uh episode six no, six here yeah we're episode six so this would be uh game seven of this series so let's get into it right now it is uther versus anduin so trump playing the part of uther the paladin and scapegoaty playing the part of the priest So, we are eagerly awaiting Trump's next move here. <laughs> Trump's first move, any move here, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I will say that I, I finally started playing some uh, of the arena on the currently wiped beta, uh, or the post-wiped beta, and I'm still just as bad at it, so <laughs> that's why I'm glad I have Trump to uh, play the game for me, so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, Injured Blade Master set to start things off. Alongside the Sun Fury Protector and a Dire Wolf Alpha hitting the field. It's gonna take out that Injured Blade Master right off the bat. And now we're left with that Dire Wolf Alpha on the field. And it will be smited to death. And down it goes. And a lesser heal because why not? <laughs> Now, I think he's played Scapegoaty before. The name seems very familiar, so... Uh, may just be one of those cases where... You know, they don't meet for a game, and that was maybe his first loss when, when he beat Scapegoaty the first time. But, uh... Interesting stuff. I don't really keep track of who exactly Trump plays. And it is, to the best of my knowledge, uh, you meet people with the exact same record as you, so you get the exact same type of opponent who's, you know, either just as skilled or just as fortunate to have the type of deck they have, whatever it may be. But, alright, starting to do some damage to the hero and pops a Silverhand Recruit. So a little bit of damage on Anduin to start, finally, after taking out some minions. But we'll have to see what moves he wants to make at this point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, it all comes down to what Scapegoaty's move is going to be. And it looks like he is going to inner fire. That's an interesting use of inner fire. I will say that. I mean, it does allow him to take that iron for grizzly out. And at least heal it back up to a reasonable state. But an uh, interesting move to, to blow it quite so early. But, I mean, it could pay off in the long run. We really have no idea. But it is going to be a trade there to take that minion out. Do a quick point of damage and drop the Senjin Shield Master. And an Arathi Berserker. So... Field is clear for Scapegoaty, but he has the significant card advantage, and health totals are a negligible difference, to be honest. Four health does not make or break really anything. Uh, one new video that I did put up that I just want to talk about real quick here, if you haven't seen it, uh, I did a video that encompasses the entire tutorial of Hearthstone, so if you still haven't played and you're eager to check it out, that's what you will first see when you log into the game, so you can watch that. It's like 20 minutes long, but you can see the whole thing. Anywho, so we just had an Ogre Magi play happen. And a quick Divine Shield to try and take it out. He's going to sacrifice his... Uh, uh, wow, Silverhand uh, recruit there, because why not? And he clears the field once again, so... It's starting to be put on the back foot, for sure. But we're getting into that later part of the game where the bigger minions can start to come out. And, uh... Some real interesting play can actually start to happen. 
That 6 6 minion, of course, a uh, sizable opponent for Trump to face off against. Looks like he's going to drop a Razor Fen Hunter. That's going to spawn a 1 1 uh, thing. <laughs> 4. And a quick 4 card draw. So he does have that Blessing of Protection. Or Hand of Protection, I'm sorry. Which he is going to drop on his stealth cat there. Use it to do a quick point of damage and sacrifice the minion to take it out. So, not bad. Now we're going to see some sizable damage come into play. Pops another Silver Hand Recruit. And we are getting into a position where Trump is in a pretty strong state. Now he does have the card disadvantage at this point, but he's got a, he's, he's got board control at the moment. Uh, and the health difference, while still fairly negligible, is getting bigger. Um, but it is, you know, it's removing a resource from play. And when I refer to a resource, like when I call a, uh, you know, a health a resource, I don't just mean in the, the warlock sense, where you have to literally play health to play a card, but it determines the moves you make, too. Like, you may make a move that will cost you health because you're going to have to sacrifice a minion and eat damage from an opponent's minions, but it may pay off in the long run because you're making the move you're making. So, questing adventurer and an acolyte of pain put into play. Quick self heal. That adventurer is probably not going to survive this turn. I'm pretty confident in that. Looks like that Twilight Drake will hit the field at a. Uh... Oh, no, I guess not. Could have dropped it at a 5 5. This is, of course, the uh, pre patch Twilight Drake. Keep in mind, these are pre patch games, so any uh, differences between these games and the games you play in uh, live are specifically because of that. Alright, Cult Master comes into play, and now minions are going to die, which means more cards for Trump, and I think he's holding off because he wants to accumulate more cards, and then he's probably going to play that uh, Twilight Drake when he's got a sizable hand. Yeah, there it, there it goes right there. So I got a few extra cards, now it's a 6-6, six, six. so pretty smart play there by Trump. No, no, you know, that's good card synergy and good good play there. So he knew he had that Cult Master, which would give him a card every time uh, something died. And a good mass to spell right there. That's going to significantly affect these minions. I mean, some of them are still pretty strong, but it basically nullified that Drake. Uh, and it removes the Taunt from the field. And it gets rid of that card battery. In addition to the various other effects that it's, it's getting taken care of. But again, you know, there's still a sizable amount of damage out there. And he's going to pop Blessing of Kings on the Blade Master, and here comes the damage. And that is GG right there. <laughs> Just enough damage, thanks to Blessing of Kings, to take his opponent out in convincing fashion. I don't know why I called it a Blade Master, it's just a Berserker, I believe. But anyway, doesn't matter. Game over. Trump takes the win, and we are going to roll forward once again. So he is now up 6 1 as we head into the next game, which will come on Monday. So stay tuned for that. And more of Trump in the arena. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you all are too. We'll be back tomorrow with more Hearthstone action. Uh, hopefully I'll have something good for the weekend, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll have something. But that is going to do it. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget that you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe for daily updates, like this video, comment. I always read all my comments. But uh, thanks again, and I will see you all next time.